Crafter Nook with Connie, and I'm Connie. And look at here, this is what we're going to do. What we're going to do, cock a doodle do. We got a rooster by a red barn. Now, I love it when I have a uh, inventory sheet. I have not checked the colors yet, but you've got your symbols, your uh, color numbers, that's the DMC numbers, how many bags of each, and then this is the quantity of the colors. And 310 black has the most. It's got 1,797 diamonds on that one. And the next one is a 904 that's red and it has 1139 <clears throat> so it comes with a standard toolkit you get a boat a nice big chunk of wax some baggies and you have two pins one has a let's see that is a I think that's a seven and that is a three placer of course it has a single and set that aside. Now we're going to look at the purdies. I already took them out of the crinkly bag, so we don't have to worry about that. Check these colors out. We have some bright colors. We've got oranges and yellows and greens. There's some blues. Here's an orange. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all kitted up and ready to go. Check my inventory, make sure I got everything. And I will be back. All right. Oh, I got to cover that up before I stick my arm to it. Now, I also want to show you something else that I recently purchased. There are three sizes of trays that have both the lid and the bottom have your ridges to hold your diamonds. So I'm just trying to see how they work before I use multiple. So this is the lid off of this one. And it sets them in there really nicely. It's a little different to hold, but actually it's quite comfortable. And I'm using my ruler for squares. This is the first time I've used it and I'm going to see how those work. Because it's a little, little different. I'm not really quite sure how this one is going to be because you're not doing, um, it's not solid. I'm going to do a spot and another spot and then I take the ruler off and fill in between. All right, so I filled in all the little squares here, and we're going to see about removing this thing and see how it works. I remember, right? Let's see, how did I do this? Come on. There we go. Oopsie daisy. All right. Once you remove the ruler, like this, you have these little diamonds, and then you fill in around them. As you can see, you know, I took away my ruler, and once I got the first section and the second section, it was good got to this last one and it was way off kilter. So I've readjusted the second row to where it now is about as even as it can get with the third one and I'm just doing it normally.
Okie doke. I got him all framed up and ready to be hung on a wall. And I think he turned out gorgeous. Thank you all for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Be more to come.